Today we're going to check out one of the top picks from ChatGPT here called Video GBT by Veed. Through conversations, we can proctor and get full blown videos created with artificial intelligence. Once we created the video in ChatGPT, we're able to play it straight on Veed. Our planet is a precious gift, and it's up to us to protect it. Environmental conservation. Different B rolls, different voices, and so on. Welcome back, y'all. So, we're gonna be checking out a pretty cool GBT. This allows us to create artificial intelligence videos that we can start leveraging in social media. One thing I would point out is that it also comes with music, but I went ahead and muted that just in case they were going to try to copyright me. So we're going to go ahead and learn everything we can do with it and begin this tutorial. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. It's right in the description down below if you want to get insight and daily insight on my thoughts. Let's jump in. To start off, you're just going to need a ChatGPT Plus account. Once you do, go to the GPT store and it is number six right now. If you can't see it there, just type in video GPT. We're going to go ahead and click that. I'm also going to put in the description down below. Let's go and begin though. So they proctor us by simply saying, let's create a video. Let's walk through it and see everything that's encompassed here. So we're gonna say, let's create a video. So it starts off by asking us what's the theme and topic we wanna choose. Also different variables like style, tone, and key elements. Let's go ahead and try to create a video that is maybe just showcasing the grizzly bear. We're gonna say, let's do a informational style video of the California grizzly bear. Tone should be like National Geographic. So notice how we can reference other things outside of it. So we don't have to be completely unique. We can reference like the tone, the style is National Geographic's and key elements will be facts about it. That being said, I don't know how specific I can get here, such as maybe like during when they're eating and you know those videos when they're catching fish in the river. I'm not too sure how specific. I'm gonna start with this though and kind of proceed. Okay, so here we go. So we got three major things just asking you specific facts, visual elements, and voice over style. All right, let's get very specific here then. Let's go ahead and do specific facts. We'll just say uh, you get the fact. All right, so that's answer number two. Uh, visual elements, okay. We'll say real footage and bear in stream eating fish. Okay. And then voiceover style, should it be authoritative, informative, similar to, yes, similar to documentary narrator. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and hit enter here again. So once we provided all that relevant information, we're going to get title here, a theme and a tone, and the content. So opening shot, stunning visual of California wilderness, narrative, okay, key scenes, real footage of a California grizzly bear in a stream, voiceover. This is pretty specific here. Okay, let's go ahead and continue here. So I'm going to do a first go around here. Let's see if like what this even looks like. We're going to watch it. And then the second go around, I'm going to see if we can edit basically all the pre-existing information because then that would really help us in the context of maybe we liked 80% of it, but we need to slightly edit it. But here I'm going to go ahead and say always allow, but that basically makes it so I don't always get proctored every time it accesses VEDS back in. Let's go and see this video. Here we go. It's generating a very long link to the underlying video here. And we kind of proceed from here. Okay, so basically the next step is just to click it. All right, so this was done just for context all within 20 seconds, 25 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and mute the, the music. I don't want to get copyrighted. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. So it does come with music though. Keep that in mind. And let me go ahead and lower the voice volume a little bit as it does get a little loud. And I don't want to blow your ears out, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and just come over here and let's watch this. Let's see if this is a win or a loss. Did you know that the California grizzly bear once roamed these very lands? Majestic and powerful, this magnificent creature was a symbol of the wild. With its thick fur and sharp claws, it ruled the California wilderness. But sadly, due to human activities, it is now extinct. We must remember and appreciate the beauty of this incredible species. Let's protect and preserve our natural world so that future generations can witness the majesty of the California grizzly bear. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. First thing I'm thinking is, well, actually, it looks like we can actually change the orientation as well. Keep that in mind. Is I'm thinking when this incurred, this was supposed to be the footage of the bear in the stream. Obviously, whatever stockpile of footage it has, it doesn't have that, so it kind of left it blank. Also, that being said, you can add footage using their UI. Keep that in mind. So first initial thoughts of this is basically it's getting you 70, 75% the way there of an end product, which isn't bad. I mean, this was done in 15, 20 seconds. So saying that, let's see if we can re-edit this underlying video and kind of proceed. Okay, that was great. 
but can we actually do the same style but for Buffalo? I'm gonna enter here. Idea being that if you have a niche down social media, can we just print out a bunch of content that is same idea, informative, narrative, stuff of this nature. So it looks like it's taking the style here. It's taking the context and continue again. So far, I haven't been hit with a limit either. There is no limit. There's no, I haven't, ha I didn't even make an account for Veed either. This is all positives. Okay, so here we go. This should be on the Buffalo and it should be a fact and it should be, okay, let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and mute that music again. All right, so the first clip is not amazing, but maybe there's more context here. Let's go. Did you know that the American buffalo, also known as the bison, once roamed the vast North American plains in massive herds? These majestic creatures have a rich history, a vital role in the ecosystem, and cultural significance. They are true icons of the American wilderness. With their strong bodies and impressive horns, buffaloes are built to survive harsh conditions. They graze on grasses and use their massive heads to clear snow in search of food. These social animals live in herds where they communicate through various behaviors. But sadly, due to human activities, their population declined drastically. Conservation efforts are now crucial to protect these magnificent creatures and preserve their natural habitat. Let's appreciate the grandeur of the American buffalo and work together to ensure their survival for future generations. Okay, so that wasn't amazing, but this is all early days. You could see two years from now, this just being ridiculously good to the point where you really could pump out a lot of content in this topic. That being said, though, it did grab buffaloes, like the great American buffalo, like they're not the same type of buffalo there. But overall, though, I do see where it's coming because this kind of just basically does like 70% of the work, gives you structuring, and then you'd kind of have to do the rest. So that kind of wraps up today's video when it comes to learning about how to leverage video GPT. If you enjoyed this video, I got a playlist at the end that you may really like, and it's gonna go ahead and go over all different types of GPTs found in the GPT store on top of that, how to create GPTs, custom GPTs, everything of that nature. Make sure to leave a like, feel like you learned something today. Make sure to subscribe for actual quite literal daily content. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so we learned some facts about the grizzly bear, the great American buffalo. Check out that playlist. And then that video down there, it's either gonna be a hit or it's gonna be a miss, a strikeout or a home run. And then there's a little button right there. I'm not too sure what it does. Something amazing.